The thing you are most likely to hear when an idea or a script is being passed on by a production house, a director or a studio is that it's nothing personal. That is a lie. Sometimes it's personal to them. A person can take a dislike to you because you're rude, because you're arrogant, because you think you're better than other people and they can feel that coming off you. Now, most people will agree that these are totally valid reasons to dislike a person and want to avoid working with them. I agree, but sometimes people will dislike you because of where you live or how you dress, because you speak with the wrong accent. You need to figure out whether you need to improve as a person or as a creator, or whether you need to approach a different kind of person as a potential collaborator. In the earliest stages of your career, you are more likely to get rejected. Think about your own life. You reach out to your personal or familial connections for recommendations on everything from good doctors to good stockbrokers. Staff members, collaborators, business partners, more often than not, all of these are found via recommendations. And at the beginning of your career, since nobody knows who you are, they have no idea what you're capable of. So it is very likely that you are going to suffer a greater rate of rejection. As time passes and you become somewhat of a known entity in your line of work, people will start seeking you out. Sometimes your work will be rejected because the person who read your script is trying to shoehorn their own belief system into your work. I've had repeat performances of this one situation. I submit a script to a person, the person reads the script and then asks me to include their favorite trope into the narrative. Now this trope has nothing to do with the kind of script I have submitted. Before I go any further, I have to tell you this. The correct response in this situation is always, that's an interesting idea, let me think about it. Sometimes you already know that it's not a good idea and you are not going to think about it anymore. Sometimes that idea may take root and you may think there's no harm in trying this. Another reason why people tend to shove their opinions on your work is because that way they can feel a sense of ownership so that they can then pitch it forward to actors or producers or investors. Now this ownership can be anything from benign to very, very dangerous. I have heard absolute horror stories of someone suggesting an idea to someone and then claiming co-writer credit. I don't even think I need to say this but I will run as far away from that type of person as soon as possible. Yes, this is all very depressing. So what is one to do? It is worthwhile to note that it doesn't help to get bitter about this. If we constantly focus on improving our skills and broadening our network, we will get to a place from where the next stage in our career will be a lot closer than we thought it was. It takes time, it takes patience, it takes a positive attitude. Embracing this viewpoint will stand you in good stead throughout your career. I have heard this often enough and to a certain extent I have even experienced this. It does not get easier with time. Your ambitions grow as do your skills and sometimes the opportunities don't seem like they're there. But you just have to look a lot harder than you thought you already were. With that in mind, drop a comment below to share your hacks for how you get people to take a chance on your work. Now get out into the world and create something awesome.